All right, so this Greg's list tonight is about the free agent class of starting pitchers. And there are future Hall of Famers among the players you're about to see. I'm not doing a top 10 because 10 isn't a baseball number. I'm doing nine. Your top nine free agent starters, and it's a guy that's got a pair of Cy Youngs on his resume. Number nine is Corey Kluber. ERA is sub four right now for the New York Yankees. And got off to a slow start, but I got to tell you, Corey Kluber still has the ability to spin a baseball. He can get the occasional swing and miss when he needs to. I think there'll be some suitors for Corey Kluber. He's number nine. Number eight, a guy that at times throws under 70 miles an hour. He's got a 4-2-3 right now in line to get a win for the Houston Astros. Zach Greinke still gives you innings. He'll still tell you what's coming in terms of pitches occasionally. I don't, I've got him lower on the list because the, the velocity is way down. I just can't see teams really courting the great Greinke. This was hard for me. I wanted to put Lance Lynn closer in the top five at least because he's an innings guy. When he was healthy this year, he just came back. Still an ERA of a 1.3. I love Lance Lynn. And he does bring that horse mentality. So I could probably move him up at the moment. I got him number seven. Is Marcus Stroman being ahead of Lance Lynn was tough, splitting hairs. I just like the way he looks this year. Bouncing off the mound, showing his athleticism, changing speeds. He's not throwing 98 miles an hour, doesn't need to. I've got Stroman at number six. In front of him, the shocker. I mean, Kevin Gossman's the breakout pitcher in baseball this year. A ton of strikeouts, a 12 case tonight for the best team in baseball at the moment, the San Francisco Giants. He's spinning a baseball. And he's always had swing and miss. I think he's going to be a coveted guy in free agency. Number four, he could sit out a year. He could be 45 years old if he wants to. His mechanics are going to look exactly the same as he looked when he was coming out of the minor leagues with the Detroit Tigers. Justin Verlander has aged well. And no matter what he looks like, he's going to be coveted. Uh, Verlander, I have him number four in the free agent class coming up. In front of him, Noah Syndergaard. Look, there are a lot of critics of this guy. Velocity and spin rate. He's going to have both when he comes back and he's healthy. L look at look at Zach Wheeler, a guy that was in the rotation with him. He was coming to get 100 million. Syndergaard's big, large. He's going to get paid. Number two, Clayton Kershaw. I think one team will negotiate for his services, and it's the Los Angeles Dodgers. They won't even let it get to free agency. So because we're doing this practice of upcoming free agents, I have to put him in the list. He's going to be number two and number one. It's my favorite St. Lunatic. Yeah, he's from St. Louis like I am. Max Scherzer. Hey, look, I, 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 Tom made a good point. He could get traded this year because the Nationals are a last place team at the moment. But he's an automatic to rejoin the Nationals. They want this guy wearing, they want the, the curly W on the cap on his Hall of Fame plaque. He's going to the Hall of Fame. He's 36 years old, can still get swing and miss, on pace for 299 strikeouts coming in to this start tonight. Uh, I think Max Scherzer is number one. Now, Tom Berducci and Harold Reynolds know more about baseball than I do. That's Greg's list. What do you think of it? Tom, I'll let you start because Harold Bash is yeah. on my list all the time. It's pretty good. <laughs> you surprised me with Syndergaard that high, considering we haven't seen him yet post Tommy John surgery. Last time we saw him on the mound, you, the numbers there we saw in 2019 full season, ERA over four. Yeah. You like the metrics, I can tell, all right? The velocity. You know, it's really not about what I like. Like, when we talk about Hall of Fame, what, anticipate the close what do I think front offices like? And yeah, you know, it's, you know what did well for Zach Wheeler, right? Wheeler got paid more than I thought because why? Velocity, spin rate. Spin rate. Yeah, you had all, Swing and all of stuff. It. Yeah, so I can see that happening. But I have a hard time with Syndergaard over Verlander. But that's – I'm nitpicking here. But pretty mm. good list. I, w I want to hurt you a little bit and make you smile at the same time. And here it is. Max Scherzer, if he gets traded, is not going back to Washington. Because I think if he gets traded, he's the finishing piece for the Cardinals. And he's going to go to St. Louis and say, I'm home, boys, and I'm not leaving. I'll finish this thing off here. I, I think once he becomes a Cardinal, he does not go back to Washington. He, this, tell me he does not make that Cardinal rotation a world champion. If he ends up there. I can't see them trading him to the St. Louis Cardinals. Why? I just don't see it. Well, you take well, the best deal you can get. I think they would try. Ah, I think he's off to the American League somewhere. I, I think the Yankees make a lot of sense. If they, if they were going to trade him, they trade an American League team. And it reminds me of Aroldis Chapman getting traded. The Yankees brought him back. This is a guy that's going back. I'm telling you. How many it means times does that happen? The Learner family what? wants him 
to end his career. That's why there's a strong he likelihood. Won't get traded. That's my point. He might not get traded. He might not get dealt. I think there's a stronger possibility he does not get traded if they want to keep him. If he gets traded, he's gone. This is his fourth team. That's one reason they didn't trade Bryce Harper. That didn't work out for it's, him. I mean, I put together a list for you here, Greg. What's up? Since you got Max Scherzer and Verlander on your list here. The highest single strikeout rates for pitchers 34 and older. Mm -hmm. Top 10 all time by only three different pitchers. Randy it's Johnson, amazing. Max Scherzer, and Justin Verlander. It tells you how well Scherzer is aging. Right? Yeah. We're seeing some of the best baseball. I know there's a lot more strikeouts in the game overall. But he's kept pace and even exceeded the pace of the increase of strikeouts. No, he's tremendous. It's funny you, you mentioned um, Wyatt Syndergaard so high on my list and Verlander behind him. Verlander getting up there in age. I feel like we just think he's an automatic Cy Young contender. A, not knowing where he's going to pitch next year. And this is the first, I mean, Tommy John surgery for a guy that has been, you know, pretty healthy for the most part his entire career. Is it a guarantee that Justin Verlander is going to be locked down ace coming back next year? If it's, he's healthy, yeah. He'll be more than a, much more than a year removed from the Tommy John surgery. And they do such a good job with those these days. It's, Plus, he, he has told people, and I've heard him say this, he wants to be like Nolan Ryan. He wants to be pitching and power pitching into his mid-40s.